What's up guys? It is Friday and end of the day, so everything's back in the job trailer. Figure I'd give you a little walk around tour of how I've got everything organized in here and see if maybe you guys uh, give you some ideas to improve upon. Um, a lot of wasted space right here. I don't have cabinets built all the way. I actually used to, but I took a lot of them out. I need this space because we clear all this out when we build cabinets in the shop and take them over to houses. So I need all of this room here to get stuff in there. Um, it's a little wasted. So got the bulldozer on the Fast Cat Pro 4 stand. Um, this stand is meh. If you're doing a lot of production work and you're heavy on the uh, trimming, then this is a great stand for that. It's got a few quirks with it, but anyways. So first thing I've done is I've got a little pack out section here. Um, and I keep my most utilized tools in my pack out. Um, so drawers are the way to go because I can get to what I need. I haven't got them all labeled yet, but anyways, like obviously this one's nail guns, this one's drills and, um, you know, just routers and open them. Some of them are nice and I've foamed them out, but anyways but most of them are not. They've just got uh, common tools. In them. So the great thing about the pack out is you can grab, you know, get what you want. I used to have, I've got a lot of this kind of setup where you just grab the tool, utilize it and throw it back. And what we would do is put what we needed in the pack out crate and just kind of tote it in and then throw everything in the crate. But when these drawers came out, we switched over to them because now like we're always using a drill, you know, in bits. And I've got all my drill bits, my oscillating tool here. This is like my most used case. So if I've got a job where it's a punch list thing and I just need to run and grab a drill, I can grab a drill. But if I'm going to be there a while, I can grab my whole case, throw it on the dolly, and take it inside. Now I've got my drill and um, oscillating tool and all the things that I need there. Or, you know, say I need to grab some cordless nail guns, router, that kind of stuff, Craig kit or screws um, I just grab what I need build the cart with it and then um, wheel it into the uh, job site and then I work out of the pack out and um, I don't throw my tools everywhere I put them back in the case as I'm working out of it just like a mechanic would for a tool chest that way when it's the end of the day you just uh, wheel the dolly back in here and you can either put the cases back where they go if you're not gonna be back or you can just leave it here and strap it down and then wheel it in the next day. Um, so um, anyways, I've got some uh, cord storage there. You'll notice I've got some uh, electrical up here and charging and lots of chargers here and just kind of wherever I can get them. Those all run off this Honda generator. It's vented through the floor so that it can run in here and not smoke you out. Um, you can plug into it right there. I've just got this little deal here to keep it ladder, but Anyways, you can plug into it there on the front with that cord, or you can plug into their house. And then um, my air compressor is wired into this too. So you've got air and power right there off the trailer. If the trailer is running or if the trailer is plugged in to the house power, either way, air compressor is right there. It's got a chuck where I can plug it in and runs this. And there's another one over there that I never use, but, <clears throat> um, or I can just take the air compressor inside so um just kind of some festool cases here um i still kind of like festool cases they're really nice and lightweight um, not super bulky the milwaukee cases are crazy heavy empty and they're really bulky especially with all this over molding on them but no one has drawers as big as this um honestly if i were going to buy a bunch of them i would just get the two drawer ones not a lot of fit in these three drawer ones except for like a couple of pneumatic nail guns and very little stuff will fit on them well, so I might want to try them out. So, anyways, as we're coming through here, Old Harbor Freight, um, U.S. General. This thing has been with me for 10 years and still works great. It locks up. Still, I don't know how it works, but um, this has got all my knickknack stuff in it. Some hand tools I don't use very often. You know, extra nails, 15 gauge, 16 gauge, 18 gauge. Um, lots of impact drivers and drill bits you know everyone that's a craftsman or a uh, woodworker gets those uh, christmas um, kits 
of drill bits and uh, it seems like I have 40 of them so this is a place to put them all um, and this is a place for all the junk that I I know where it is but none of my guys do you know just like spray paints 2p10 stuff to touch stuff up wood glue epoxy festival miter gauge that um, I've just fell apart and never got to actually use um, the mechanical pencils are a must 0.09 lead this is like the cheapo pico pencil um, this is where it's at if you're marking with a blunt carpenter's pencil get out of here um, festival vacuum and blower so we can blow off the job site when we're done there's my legs to my festool capex this one's the reb 120 i love this saw it does really nice and i love this stand it sets up super fast very lightweight the uh, stops on it are like money once it's all dialed in and it's always dialed in like really like this saw it's the price tag is it worth it probably not but um we take this saw and set it up inside the house and use it to fine tune cuts after we've cut everything out in the garage because it just makes a total mess. Um, yeah, I've got a vacuum and a couple vacuums, but I mean, this isn't, uh, can't get it all. Um, there's my coping jig there. This is like the best kept secret in the world, the coper. Um, this thing works awesome and this anyone that you put a router in their hand they can cope all your trim for you so you can start cutting it this this thing's money um, just an empty pack out crate this is what we put like this the miscellaneous tools and stuff in that don't fit in one of these cases um, and i've got track saw a couple different random cases with domino sandpaper yada 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 craig jig because i'm too lazy to pull out the other one so as far as the trailer configuration, I've already told you I've got these, um, these deals right here are adjustable. You just take this off and you can move them around. And then, you know, you've got your big tools in there that won't fit in one of the cases. Um, utilize all your space here. Flip this up and get a little work table. And if you want to grab like some screws, there you go. Open it up, got all your screws, keep them labeled guys messing around looking for a two inch screw for three hours um miscellaneous just masking tape sandpapers tape 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 some different you know spray poly and and uh, lacquers and stuff for touching up you know gotta have a little bit of everything knee pads trash bags to clean up and um that's pretty much it um this one here has got a bunch of clam clamps in it and random odds and ends. And I've got all these little storage bins. I really like these things because they actually lock and they won't flip open when you're going down the road. So I keep um, about every size screw, every size Tapcon you can imagine. I even keep a lot of plumbing stuff in here. But you never know when you're going to hit a water line and even a little electrical stuff from my old remodel days. Good place for all your clamps up there. I could uh, use about 300 more clamps. And um, keep miscellaneous cabinet parts in this one. I've got my Craig set up in this guy. There you go, we've got the jig. I don't have any foam for it because I'm not rich. Um, all the different size screws, got them labeled. So one knows what they are. So anyways, and then I've got a six foot ladder up there, built that little shelf, got a little carabiner to hold it, a couple odds and ends up here on the top rack. And uh, that's about it. Little uh, redneck MFT table there. Um, just a piece of plywood with a bunch of holes drilled in it. You know what? I don't even use these uh, style clamps, even though I have them, because I'd rather just clamp on the edge. So save yourself the headache and don't drill a bunch of holes, but put you some handles in there because that will be utilized. Hope this video helps you guys figure out your trailer and good luck.